Unit 4, Volunteer Work, Part A, Reading. Each nation has many people who voluntarily take care of others. For example, many high school and college students in the United States often spend many hours as volunteers in hospitals, orphanages, or homes for the aged. They read books to the people in these places. Sometimes they just visit them, play games with them, or listen to their problems. Other young volunteers go and work in the homes of sick or old people. They clean up their houses, do their shopping, or mow their lawns. For boys who no longer have fathers, there is a voluntary organization called Big Brothers. College students take these boys to baseball games and help them to get to know things that boys usually learn from their fathers. Some high school students take part in helping disadvantaged or handicapped children. They give care and comfort to them and help them to overcome their difficulties. Young college and university students participate in helping the people who have suffered badly in wars or natural disasters. During summer vacations, they volunteer to work in remote or mountainous areas to provide education for children. Each city has a number of clubs where boys and girls can go to play games. Some of these clubs organize short trips to the mountains, beaches, or other places of interest. Most of these clubs use a lot of high school and college students as volunteers because they are young enough to understand the problems of younger boys and girls. Volunteers believe that some of the happiest people in the world are those who help to bring happiness to others. Unit 4, Volunteer Work Part A, Reading Each nation has many people who voluntarily take care of others. For example, many high school and college students in the United States often spend many hours as volunteers in hospitals, orphanages, or homes for the aged. They read books to the people in these places. Sometimes they just visit them, play games with them, or listen to their problems. Other young volunteers go and work in the homes of sick or old people. They clean up their houses, do their shopping, or mow their lawns. For boys who no longer have fathers, there is a voluntary organization called Big Brothers. College students take these boys to baseball games and help them to get to know things that boys usually learn from their fathers. Some high school students take part in helping disadvantaged or handicapped children. They give care and comfort to them and help them to overcome their difficulties. Young college and university students participate in helping the people who have suffered badly in wars or natural disasters. During summer vacations, they volunteer to work in remote or mountainous areas to provide education for children. Each city has a number of clubs where boys and girls can go to play games. Some of these clubs organize short trips to the mountains, beaches, or other places of interest. Most of these clubs use a lot of high school and college students as volunteers because they are young enough to understand the problems of younger boys and girls. Volunteers believe that some of the happiest people in the world are those who help to bring happiness to others. Task 1. Listen and fill in the missing information. Spring School is an informal school. It provides classes to disadvantaged children in Ho Chi Minh City. Around 30 street children live and study at the school and about 250 children with special difficulties from District 1 regularly attend classes. The Organization for Educational Development cooperated with Spring School to set up English classes in 1998. Dance, 
theater, singing, and folk music classes were set up a year later. Children from these classes participate in fundraising performances. They raise money to continue their English and performance arts classes. Spring school requires volunteers to help organize their fundraising dinner held annually in June. This is an exciting night in which children dance, sing, and play music at one of the largest hotels in Ho Chi Minh City. They also need foreign volunteers to contact sponsors and help to expand the school's activities. Volunteers are required from February until July to help organize these events. It is hoped that more schools like Spring School will be found in other cities in Vietnam. Task 2 Listen again and answer the questions. Spring School is an informal school. It provides classes to disadvantaged children in Ho Chi Minh City. Around 30 street children live and study at the school and about 250 children with special difficulties from District 1 regularly attend classes. The Organization for Educational Development cooperated with Spring School to set up English classes in 1998. Dance, theater, singing and folk music classes were set up a year later. Children from these classes participate in fundraising performances. They raise money to continue their English and performance arts classes. Spring School requires volunteers to help organize their fundraising dinner held annually in June. This is an exciting night in which children dance, sing, and play music at one of the largest hotels in Ho Chi Minh City. They also need foreign volunteers to contact sponsors and help to expand the school's activities. Volunteers are required from February until July to help organize these events. It is hoped that more schools like Spring School will be found in other cities in Vietnam. Task 2 Listen again and answer the questions. Part E. Language Focus Pronunciation Listen and repeat. We West Wine Wheel Wet Whale Yes. Yellow. Young. Years. Use. York. Practice reading aloud these sentences. 1. We went for a walk in the woods near the railway. Two, we wore warm clothes and walked quickly to keep warm. Three, at about 12, we had veal sandwiches and sweet white wine, and we watched TV. Four, excuse me, did you used to live in York? Five. Did you used to be a tutor at the university? Six. I read about Hugh in the newspaper yesterday. Part E. Language focus. Pronunciation. Listen and repeat. We. 
West. Wine. Wheel. Wet. Whale. Yes. Yellow. Young. Years. Use. York. Practice reading aloud these sentences. One. We went for a walk in the woods near the railway. Two. We wore warm clothes and walked quickly to keep warm. Three. At about twelve, we had veal sandwiches and sweet white wine, and we watched TV. Four. Excuse me. Did you used to live in York? Five. Did you used to be a tutor at the university? Six. I read about Hugh in the newspaper yesterday.